Ready? No? Make haste then, we don't have much time. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young, alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And the people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai by Lair say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. I know how to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. See the passage? You go through. I'll follow. There's a narrow passage there. I'll stay here. Someone must keep the power going.
It's me, Demir. I hope you can hear me. I'm here too. Gul nearly shot me, thought I was an enemy. <laughs> We're up a shit creek without a pedal. The cracks on the lower level that last earthquake opened are now seeping gas, and that gas is toxic if I know anything. The ventilation is so far keeping it at bay. But what if the power shuts off again? Or we get another tremor and the cracks open wider? I told the chief, but he's just pulling his usual sit on your ass in your office, drink and twiddle your thumbs trick. Yeah, oh, don't panic and strictly observe Directive O1 like a broken record. I don't even know what to do anymore.
Just finished moving into the old lighthouse. Staying with Gule in that hole any longer is out of question. New gas geysers keep sprouting daily. The whole bunker could collapse any moment now. There's nothing to hope for. Nobody knows why we are even here anymore. We certainly can't do any work. I only go down there for the pittance that passes for rations nowadays. I'd like to believe that it's safer on the surface, but who am I trying to fool? The people are famished. Every day brings news of new attacks and murders, ever more violent. All my thoughts are with Gule now. I can't believe this nightmare is the world she's going to live in from now on.
operation. It is obvious that our hopes to find one that had somehow been spared attack were unfounded. Moscow was superbly hit especially hard. The new data confirms that fallout makes it completely impossible to live there. Only Novosibirsk might be marginally worse, where- Mommy, look at what I drew! Oh, and who is this? It's me, I drew this, look! Oh, that's a great picture! Senior researcher Kakimova, please, take the child outside. This is a briefing, after all. Come, you. You can't come in here, come. Show me the picture outside. While we're waiting, I suggest we take a look at the enemy territory. Here and here. This is, obviously, city lights. If not for directive online, if we had any means of communication, we'd have to report the coordinates immediately as a target for the follow-up strikes. Shaitan! 
Артем, Кюл, let's get out of here. They won't jump us with lights still on. Go, go, go! with all the cracks in the bunker. Mother told me they had to repair many times, and other things too. Keep rock me. Thank you, Artyom. This is for you. Father gave it to me when I was little. Damir says, there's a little girl on your train. Give it to her. May it bring her luck. You people are lucky. Most of the Munai Bailey are raiding all their best troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change things. Ah, uh, Munai Bailey translates to something like oil-rich people. Oil drillers, I guess. Listen to me. I'll tell you where to go now. When outside, go right. The road there used to lead to the sea. To port. Anna should be around there. Contact her. She probably found something interesting. <laughs> I'll stay and try to find out more about these oil drillers. We'll contact the base as soon as I get any useful information. Tell me, Gul, how did this Baron come to power here? My people chose their well, fate see ya, Artyom. Good luck. Goodbye, Artyom. Become slaves of their own will? Yes, indeed. The Moonlight by where I told them to prepare. The Moonlight by where I told them to worship them. Hello everyone. 
Look at my lair here. Didn't have such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stepan. In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. I see you got the maps. You and Demir did a great job there. <coughs> I'll keep watching the rigs, and you can choose your next goal. Damn, I wish I could wash off all this sand already. I hope we get out of this desert soon. If you're going to the port, there's a convenient zipline on the roof. 